In this video, we are going to be talking about some of the hottest AI tools that can infinitely increase your productivity. So whether you're a marketer, entrepreneur, NFT project founder, or even an artist, these are gonna be some of the most effective tools that I've found so far in the whole AI space. And I'm confident if you do use them, you're gonna be able to skyrocket your productivity. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, the first one that we are gonna be talking about is going to be ChatGBT. Now, I've been playing around with this for the last few hours, trying to understand how deep this can go. You know, I started off with the basic questions of like, hey, give me a list of this, summarize this. It does that very well. And then I started to get into the more philosophical questions, almost therapeutic kind of thing of like, hey, you know, I'm stuck in my career. What should I do? Or I want to manage my team better. How should I be able to do that? And when I got more deeper into these questions and start to dive really deep and try to even solve my own problems using ChatGPT, what I personally found is that this product is great. The answers that the artificial intelligence is able to give you in a lot of ways can be better than even asking a friend for advice from my personal experience. Now, not every answer that it gives you is going to be the best, but some of the answers are very, very good. So some of the things that you can do with chat GBT, right? Top creative ideas for your birthday, right? Or even things that are related to code. It can help you write a YouTube video like the one you're watching right now. Or maybe if you're a marketer, for example, it can help you write a blog that's optimized for search engine optimization so that you rank higher in Google, right? So chat GBT can pretty much do many different things in many different industries. So I've tried it for acting as a therapy and asking like, hey, I just broke up with my girlfriend. What should I do? I did things like relationship advice, career advice, life coaching, coaching, research on different subjects, summaries of like books and things like that, how to write a cold email. So I've tried many different things. And for the most part, the answers that it spits back out is pretty good. Now, the way it works is you have to understand the inputs. So the better inputs and more specific you can be, the better answer it spits out. Now, the most interesting part for me is that when you're talking to ChatGPT, it really feels like you're talking to another person. So like when you're using Google search, it just feels very stale, very one way you put in something and it gives you a bunch of pages. For ChatGPT, it feels like you're talking to a friend and you can even ask it to say, hey, talk to me like you're my best friend. Talk to me like you're my manager. And it will change its tonality to talk to you in your preference in real time, which is absolutely amazing. Now, where I kind of see ChatGPT in society is kind of in a way like a competitor to Google. So if you think about it, you know, when you're on Google, they make their money from you clicking around because the more ads that they can show you, the more money that they make, right? They make money from the links. And if you click the link, great. If you don't click the link, the person paying for the ad still has to pay for it. With Google, they're going to give you a bunch of answers. You're going to search around and you're going to spend hours and hours in Google trying to solve an answer. And then eventually they're going to make a lot of money off of your back, right? Which is fine because that's the service they provide. And, you know, ChatGPT at the moment does not make money from ads, right? They just give you the answer. They give you a good product. And actually the answers are pretty good you know, in many different cases, like let's say you're a project founder, if you want to solve specific questions, like which kind of smart contract should I use? It will tell you this is the best smart contract that many of the best projects use, right? Or if you're looking for, let's say the top companies you should use to host your website, for example, it will give you the top ones right away, right? And so instead of Googling something and trying to find the answer and, you know, reading like 10 different blogs to make a conclusion, it will just give you the answer right there. And it's fairly accurate, especially for things that are very straightforward. Now, if you're, let's say a content creator, for example, and you want to come up with different video ideas, you can say something like, hey, give me the top five video ideas on how technology is going to revolutionize the world. And then based on that input, it's going to find the top videos, put it together, remix it a bit, and then give you ideas on what you can do with that. It can even go even further in once you pick an idea that you want to do, it can literally write the whole video for you, right? And of course, you can add that human element, add your different perspective to it to make it something more unique, because otherwise, everybody would be making the same YouTube videos. But by just having that script ahead of time or saving you the groundwork in doing that, it just saves you a bunch more time. So it doesn't matter if you're a content creator, whether you're tweeting, for example, writing short copy or maybe like threads, or you're writing like a long form blog post or a newsletter, chat GBT helps you so much. And if you add your own little taste and flavor of human element on top of it, it's going to be something very original. So even the AI wrote majority of the work for you, it did the work for you, you're able to add that human element to create something original. And in my personal opinion, nothing in this world is really original. We're all taking from each other. We're all inspiring each other in some way. So I definitely see a future in this working out. So you can also use ChatGPT, for example, like let's say you're doing a project, right? Like NFT project, for example, you can get the ChatGPT to write the sales copy for your project, to write the FAQ for your project, to write the Discord
keyboard announcements to even do the tweets for you as well. And of course you add that human element to it. Literally nobody will know the difference whether you wrote it yourself or AI wrote it or if it was assisted with an AI. And what's even crazier is that if you're into development and coding, it can actually help you write code and it can actually help you audit your code as well to make sure that everything is working. I mean, like for many things, especially things that are very repetitive, basically just copy and pasting code and you just want some code real quick, this is able to get the job done. Now that we talk about copywriting, the next one we're gonna talk about is actually creating art. You know, I'm just kind of group these together. You know, one of them is called Stable Diffusion. The other one is called Mid Journey. They have different nuances in how they work, but for the most part, the conceptual understanding of how they work is pretty much the same from a high level perspective. All you're really doing is putting in inputs like, hey, give me an anime picture of a girl in a kimono and it will just spit that out for you right away right or if you do something like hey give me a landscape a beautiful landscape where elves and orcs are at war for example it'll give you something like that too so basically all you really need to do is understand the inputs if you're able to say the right things in the right way it's going to give you a much better image if you're too general you're not really knowing what you're going to get the good thing about like this ai is that once you find an image that you like you can get variations of that image and then if you find more variations you pick the one that you like and you create more variations of that it will keep getting closer and closer and closer to what you actually want. So I can imagine a world where people are creating businesses and different products and just purely using AI, right? So we saw with ChatGPT, it can basically write any kind of text. So what if on a website, you use this tool and writes all the sales copy and everything for you, even comes up with the headline, even comes up with a product name for you. And then what if you use like Stable Diffusion or Mid Journey, for example, to create all the imagery, whether it's the splash art, the main art, the main character for whatever it is that you're selling, right? What if you just use AI for everything and nobody knew the difference because the tech was just that good and I see a future in that where you know it's not going to be about like how great you are at drawing it's more about your ability to have interesting ideas and creative direct projects by using different inputs to get something that's unique right and again you know there's always that copyright issue of like hey is it really unique if it's pulling from different places and combining it together that's a different philosophical uh, discussion but I think over time what's going to happen is that the technology is going to be so good that it's going to be able to remix all this data and then it won't be plagiarized it would just actually just be like an original piece of content that possibly people can own commercially and for like a lot of like low skilled labor jobs of course these jobs are going to be replaced because you know these AIs will do a better job compared to you know the labor right just because a job disappears doesn't mean people are completely out of work I feel like if they're able to adapt able to use the software you know instead of using their hands they're going to be able to think with their brains instead and provide more value into the world because the AI is much faster than the hand so could you imagine if like you started some kind of agency and somebody wanted to do like a web 3 project for example and they outsourced it to you and you just use AI for the whole thing where whether it's the product name the copy for the website the website itself you can tell ai to build a website right that's pretty sick even agencies or any service provider who has to create stuff they're going to have a much easier time because they're going to save so much time in creating anything that they want using their brains to think instead of their hands but of course there's always going to be some kind of human element right because if everyone's using the same tools everybody has the same inputs everybody has the same product right and i think adding that human touch that element personal experience observations that you have in life that will actually make it a little bit more unique and different from every everyone else, right? Because everyone has a different perspective. Just don't think that like, we're all going to have the same content. Everything's going to look alike. It will kind of look alike, but what will take you to the next level is when someone adds a little flavor, a little sauce that makes it different. That's how you're going to differentiate yourself from everybody else. So one very interesting use case, especially for, let's say the web three scene, if you're on Twitter and the NFTs and things like that, let's say you're tweeting, right? Let's say you're trying to be an influencer on Twitter. Well, if you have a very high performing tweet and it's getting like thousands of retweets, all you really need to do is like, wait a week, take that tweet, tell chat GBT to rewrite that tweet in a different way maybe make it funnier, maybe add a couple new facts and then repost it. There's your new tweet. You don't even have to use so much brain power to rewrite it. You can use artificial intelligence to rewrite it for you. And because it's your original tweet anyways, if you like rewrite or paraphrase that thing, then you're not really plagiarizing because you wrote it yourself, right? So there's so many different ways to save time. So if you're a content creator that constantly writes and you want to repurpose content and do it in a different way so that it can get more engagement like a week later, a month later, or stuff like that, you're kind of just rehashing the old same thing. That's one possible use case, right? You can use ChatGPT to rewrite stuff. You can also use another tool called Quillbot, which you just copy and paste some text in there and it will rewrite it for you and it won't be plagiarized based on how they do it. And the software that's supposed to detect plagiarism won't be able to detect it if you go through this software. So that's just one something that I found that people are doing. I'm not saying you should do that. I'm just saying that that's what it is. Again, many different use cases, especially for content creators, right? It's basically infinite ideas and it'll do all the writing for you. And even for the images, you can use Mid Journey or something like that or Stable Diffusion to create images for you right and their images are pretty good you have to kind of learn how to use the software and like the inputs and everything like that but once you get the hang of it it starts looking great and people can't really tell the difference whether or not someone actually drew it or if you just got it from the ai and we're just in the beginning
getting. I would even believe that there are going to be personalities on Twitter who just tweet, 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 and there's just going to be a team of people that are feeding inputs into like chat GBT to get this online personality to like just keep tweeting and they don't really have to do any work, right? As long as somebody has that creative vision to put the inputs in and do the marketing and stuff like that, the hard labor of the tweets can actually just be done by AI. If it's a digital influencer, for example, then you can just like create this persona of a person and have them in different situations. And it's really just an AI doing it, right? So don't be afraid of AI, use it as a tool. It will definitely help you become more productive if you use it in the right ways. It's applicable to literally everything, whether you're an employee doing marketing, you're an artist, or you're an agency or an entrepreneur or project founder, it doesn't matter. You just gotta find a way to implement it for you to save you time and be more creative. With that said, that's everything we gotta cover for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you in the next one.